We're back in my um, unfinished bathroom. I'm dyeing my hair red. It's probably not gonna turn out red, it's probably gonna turn out um, brown and or muddy because this is what my hair looks like. It's blue at the ends, it's kind of green, and my roots, my dirty blonde roots are growing out, so. I don't really care though. If I hate it, I'm just gonna dye it black again. So I might as well go red, see if it works. If it doesn't, back to black. I went to Sally's and I bought this. Lime Chime Unicorn Hair in the shade Valentine. It's kind of more red than I was going to get, but they didn't have the other color, so this works. And then to cancel out some of the blue tones, I have this orange, which I've already used before because when I dyed my hair black, I filled it with orange because it was blue, I filled it with orange and then dyed it black so it wasn't gonna, anyway. I'm gonna mix these two so that it gets to some shade that I like and probably end up with purple. It's probably gonna be red all up here and then purple down here, which I'm not that fond of, but it just means I meant to go back to black if that doesn't work. I have to change into my hair dyeing shirt now, so. Okay, so this this isn't my normal hair dyeing shirt, but um, it'll work. Lots of opportunities here. So many things, so many different ways this could go. I don't have a mixing bowl. Hmm. I'll just squirt it in my hands. Yeah, that'll work. Every time I do my hair, I reuse these gloves. So these have gone through a lot. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon, which is kind of an odd time to be dyeing hair. These seals are awful. Oh, nice. Okay, noted. Anyway, what I was saying is I should put a tab on here so that it's easier to open. That is red. Red, purple, brown. Who knows what's gonna happen? Because I definitely don't know. This is sunset orange. You know what, and I don't think, I would love to be like a ready ginger. That seems really pretty. I feel like I'd have to dye my eyebrows though too if I did that. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't section. How do you always forget to do that? I'm just gonna wipe it off. Yeah, we're just gonna wipe it off. Nope, it's on my forehead. I think I wanna use like the rosemary oil because look how thin, all of a sudden, my hair seems like you can see my scalp more, more often throughout my head. I'm honestly, I feel like it really might dye my hair this red. <laughs> I kind of appreciate the squirt bottles, not bottles like this, because this is hard to um, use. Uh, I don't want to stain my ears, but I probably am. I just forget, I'm just so ready to just do it that I forget like, Oh, I'm so excited for change. For real, I love, I love change. Oh, and it's on my forehead now. It might not even take, to be honest. It's gonna stain my head. I already know it. Maybe I'd look cool with red hair. This red of hair? I, I've never actually really been fond of that red of hair, like red hair in general. Never really thought I could pull it off because I have blue eyes. And for some reason, I want my hair color to match my eyes, and that's why I've done blues and silvers and blacks. I just cut my hair to a bob a few weeks ago, so um, I really don't need as much hair dye anymore. Somehow I find it harder, because I, I can't see. I chose this Lime Chime brand over Arctic Fox because I heard that people like it better. So we're gonna see if it's better. So far, it doesn't look that I mean, it's quite pigmented, but once I put it on my hair, it doesn't look that pigmented. Kaylee, you know which Kaylee you are. I know we're friends on here, so if you see this, you know that you're the Kaylee I'm talking about. Am I beating you to red? Have you done red yet? I think you'd look really cool with red hair because you have brown eyes, and for some reason, I feel like brown eyes and red hair is really sick looking. Also, Kaylee, if you're for some reason still watching this, I've never like talked to you before, but you're really dope and you're like someone that I wish I was friends with in real life. Just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna try another section now. 
Shoot. This is going to stain really bad, isn't it? This is um, my favorite part. Globbing out the hair dye. It's very satisfying. Oh, 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 roots. I hope you don't just become completely... Oh, I thought I wasn't filming for a second. Does red hair even suit me? I'm trying to not get it all over my scalp because I hate when my scalp is dyed the color of my hair. I have no idea what color this is going to be. And it's kind of amusing because like I don't really care at this point. I don't go to school. I don't, um, I rarely see people I know. So I don't, I really don't have any problem with it being like a strange color. I just don't want it to be patchy. I probably should have combed my hair out, huh? Oh, do not. What color are you? Why am I suck? I suck at this time. Why am I so bad? Imagine me with a shaved head. Oh my gosh. A shaved head and then like all like the designs like dyed into it. So cool. I'm gonna go sit for like two hours probably because I, I don't really dye my hair and then I sleep in the dye, but it's like, you know, it's daytime. I'm gonna let it like fully sit. I'll see you in a few hours. Here she is. So I got red roots and they fade to a black looking color, but it's not black. It's just a red purple, a really dark red purple, which is actually kind of sick. The roots, you know, they, it look, it's a, it's a, it's a red Billie Eilish. I'm actually quite, um, I like it a lot. I like really like it. I thought I'd be really opposed to my roots being red fading to a black. I thought it wouldn't look good, especially on me, but I think it actually suits me pretty well. And it just looks cool. This is what it looks like. And my twin brother, who does not like when I dye my hair, he just prefers my natural hair color, which is fine. But he said it looked cool. I got a, I got a stamp of approval from my critical twin brother, so that was um, really nice to hear. Yeah, I think it's sick. I like it more than what it was before I dyed it, and it, it, it actually, I don't think it clashes that much with my natural, like, complexion. I thought it would. It makes me look pale. Blur, but I'm just I'm just pale in general. It brings out the red in my face, which I'm not the most fond of, but it brings out the red under my eyes, which I do like, and my lips, which I do like. So that's okay. That we, you win some, you lose some. And I have really cool looking hair now. I'm gonna show you it with flash because I don't think the this is doing it justice. Hello, we're all up close and personal. Um, I'm looking at what I look like in the mirror. So let's see. I think I look really cool. That's all that matters, to be honest. As long as I feel confident, I don't care what anyone else has to say. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a redhead now. I never thought I'd be a redhead, ever. Like, I, I did not ever think I would, um, choose it because I didn't think it'd look good with me but it does so that's that bye